worked out a plan to make sure the pilot washes hands, sails away. I was one with Jesus Christ this morning. Down the plain. Make sure pilot no wash hands and sit by. It was your and mine.
Who needs the dead and friends when you got Bruce here? Whoa. Jeez. I've never seen a one man jam band. That's impressive. Uh, it is. We have nothing but the best I here at CPR. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but the best. Good job, buddy. How you Thanks, been? Man. How have you been since you've been in Iowa? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, Crazy. busy? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. I mean, you know, the holidays are nuts. I mean, Fourth of July, it's like, you know, seven shows in like three days, four states, that kind of thing. I mean, it's been it's been good, but it's just really been busy. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so. What are you doing, like a lot of small stuff? Or? Uh, I do small and big. I mean, uh, uh, a couple Tuesdays ago, I was up at La Conia Fest in New Hampshire. And that was like 3,000 people. I mean, a solo show. It's you nice. were Laconia? Yeah. Were you there when they got ripped off? No. You weren't there for that? No, no, no. no. Lucky. Ha- I didn't hear I didn't even hear about it. You didn't hear about it? No. The last day. The, the, the What the, day was the last day? I think it was Sunday. Yeah, I was there on a Tuesday. The so. promoter just skipped out. Just like well, I'll tell you what. They got a lot of fucked up shit in, in Laconia anyway. But yeah, the promoter skipped out. The yeah. bands paid $1,000 a yeah. piece to play. Yeah. Yeah, I know. There there was a lot of shady shit that was going down. I mean, when you play Lacani, they have trailers everywhere, and you go and you do check-in, and then they say, well, you're next, and then, like, you're waiting for three. I mean, honestly, I was supposed to go on at 4 o'clock. I went on at, like, 8. Really? Yeah, so I fucked around and waited around for, like, four hours doing nothing. But but, but it was good. Yeah. The, I mean, people were really friendly, you know? Yeah. And, uh, like you know, a miniature you, Woodstock? What's that? Like a miniature Woodstock? Yeah, like I mean, that? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's humbling, you know, because you're playing a solo instrument. It's thunderous. On a you know on a forty foot stage, I was telling someone the booms were so big it was a huge stage. It was bigger than you really needed. But you know it's humbling to be on a stage like that with all those people. You can't. So you played for a crowd. Yeah, you can't even see oh, that's the all, end of that's the crowd. You know, amazing. so it was pretty cool. I'll tell you what. To get to a caliber, Ricky and I went to a concert on Friday, and it was a concert that I always dreamed of when it came true. That was the Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel and Sting. There yeah. was three drum sets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There was three organs. Yeah. There was three guitars, three bass, and I forgot what else was. Oh, a saxophone. Yeah. And yeah. they all played in the same. I don't know how much they practiced before, prior to this tour. Right. Obviously, they're getting better as they go along, but. Right. <laughs> goosebumps, dude. Right. You. you right. <laughs> Every song they did, it was like it was. It wasn't lip sync. I know right. that for a fact. It right. wasn't lip sync. Every song they did, they just did it like a jam. They're pros, though. You know what I mean? They're pros. They. I mean, they probably. They probably. Honestly, they probably had four. They probably had like three weeks rehearsal, and then they're out. But know? the the lighting and the and the and the film and the, the filmography in the back was fucking awesome yeah. with it. That's all. I and when he do. did in my eyes, yeah. you want to see oh, yeah, everybody no. just. Yeah. yeah. And then fucking when Sting did yeah. fucking all his uh. Police songs. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like Where was that? Uh, no. And it was an amazing Jones theater to Jones Beach. Oh, yeah. It's right. a theater built right on the water. Nice. Oh, that's nice. The stage is on the water, yeah. but the sound is amazing. But to see, he did Desert Rose, Sting did Desert Rose, right, and right. Uh, Peter Gabriel did him. He did all his hits. Right. Dude, you didn't need an opening or a closing. Bit. No, you don't. It, it was just. And I hope to one day, especially How long were they actually on stage? We played two and a half hours. Ah, yeah. Yeah. And, and they, then they, they listed, did that bullshit with the fucking... Yeah. They got off the stage acting like they were done. I'm like, fuck that. We're not going yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to hear Sledgehammer. Yeah, I don't right. care about Sledgehammer. Right, right. The Sled fucking tra- dude, the traffic. Shock the monkey. I'm glad. Yeah, it was, it was Shock the Monkey shock and Sledgehammer. I'm like, I don't need to hear that. We can hear that walk. because it, it was so... Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a peninsula yeah. where this fucking place is built. There's only one way in. One way out, yeah. and you're actually in the middle of. The, it's the, it's the, I don't even think it's a piece of land. I think it's just like all marsh. Yeah. I think they just leveled marsh and threw cement on top of this place. Right, right. It's in the middle of nowhere. So if you have a heart attack, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well just go into the ocean. Seriously, man. I mean, it, it's a nice place though, and surprisingly enough, it's a public beach too. Yeah. Mm. And they don't charge like Connecticut charges to go on, and you're actually on the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. 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 Uh, for free, you can go there, and it's right like. Right. But then you go, see, but the, sh- the right. shows there. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance to yeah, see it's a cool. show, there. it's yeah. cool. I mean, the big shows are awesome, man. You know, I mean, but I'm doing. You know, I do kind of every, everything in between, small and big, and what. Like I said, Friday I'm at City Steam, and that'll. You know, it's a big place. I mean, big enough place for Hartford area. You know, right? City Steam is nice. Yeah, and I mean, and I go, you know, everywhere. This weekend I'll be down in Newport for the fourth, and. You know, uh, then we go up to the band. Actually, the band goes up to uh, Keene, New Hampshire. Uh, Waxy O'Connor's up there. Are they so trying to tell us something? Uh, no, they're just... Are you guys wanting to play a song or something? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to play a song. Just get, 
Uh, hey, they're they're they quiet. They they don't oh, okay. I thought they were getting ready to play a song. No, no, they're, they're, they're quiet. Don't I didn't want to take no one's time away. No, no. When you say go, we just want to be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, we're good. Talk. Uh, All right. I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Just talk radio. I know you're ready. We usually give the big bands the last hour for like a half hour. Right. I just didn't want. All right. I just want to make sure. All right, all right, all cool. Right. So, yeah, I definitely want to get back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get, yeah, go ahead, man. I want to get Ryan in this the first hour because we like to get everybody in the first. Yeah, hour. yeah, go yeah. ahead, man. Um, Ryan, what's up, buddy? How you doing? How long have you been training? I've been training for about like thirteen years. Now. Right, there's three women in here. What's the moisture level? We're looking at this guy. Should he take his shirt off? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Phil? How what's your moisture you? level? My moisture level? Yeah. I'll, uh, I want to see who has the bigger chest. I'm not even going to ask Kate, uh, I'm afraid to ask Ricky Kate. or Ryan, who has the bigger chest? I don't know. So. Hey, I am keeping my distance away from you. Okay. <laughs> Would anybody <laughs> want to see him with his shirt off? I mean, it's okay. It's kind of, a little. Yeah, you're right. A little. I mean. Can you do that? Can you, you just like, maybe lift it? Yeah. I'm not gay or nothing. <laughs> And if I was, it's okay. I could, pr- I could probably give you a bicep shot. Uh, the girls wanted to see the bu- the, the stomach, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got abs? Yeah, you yeah, got I got abs. abs. Show uh, the girls. I won't yeah. look. I'll turn around. Right. You know, since it's radio, well, I didn't I, even be comfortable <laughs> taking my shirt off. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> well, I really don't have a big ego. That's the thing. Right. I really don't. You're like very that. shy for a bodybuilder. All right, show us an abs or, or a bicep. <laughs> Is that your partner? <laughs> He's kidding. Yeah. Him. Okay. It's Jesse. He's my partner. Your partner. Huh? I didn't, oh, oh, I didn't mean it like that, but it's okay if you were. No. No. Right. Jesus Christ, look at that thing. <laughs> Ooh, mama. Look at, look, you're all wet. And that's without warming up. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't see it. <laughs> she can't even see it, she's all wet. You got stretch marks you've been building so much. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> How many cycles did that take? <laughs> I don't do no <laughs> drugs. <laughs> How long have you been mark? How old are you? I'll be 26 this year. Shut the fuck up. When did you start? When you were five? No, I actually started when I was 13. 13? Yeah, okay. Just straight up how many days a week? Um, That actually switched. You know, as you get older, as I've gotten older, I've actually realized that, you know, like less. Need some recovery time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot. Three days a week? No, actually, I do four days a week now. You do four. Yeah. I, like when I was 13, I had no experience whatsoever on training, nutrition. So basically when I was 13, when I first started, I would actually be in the gym for like four hours straight training every ma- uh, muscle known to mankind. Mm-hmm. And What is the routine like? I, I got one minute and then we'll come back to you when we come back. What is the routine like? Should someone do two muscles? Like when I used to go, obviously you can tell I never used to go. But when I used to go, I used to do two a day. I would do like chest and tries on one day. Two muscles a day? Yeah, chest and tries. Then the next day would be back and buys and then shoulders. And then the third day would be legs, obviously. Yeah, they, they, that's they, they, how you should do it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, is that good? Yeah, some people. Three will, sets of twelve is that too not enough? No, actually, my my belief, my opinion is that you know, on your weaker points, you know, the muscles that you have a hard time building. Uh, my point, is, uh, my opinion is. Look at me, I got the whole thing wrong. Over there, I can't. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> what I have a hard time with. My whole it's a good all, thing. It's a good thing you stopped. It's a big. I know the big thing is my my body is my head. Well, we all have different opinions about everything, right. you know, like so. Um, I, my belief is on uh, me on my on my uh, weaker points that I have a hard time building. I would actually do more sets. I would actually legs. Do a, yeah.